Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tactical Expedition. And today I want to show you how I polish my Crocodile wallet that I purchased a um, long time ago. I think it's been like two, three years. Worn parts here and here. And some are very polished. Like the midsection, that's when it was new. So this wallet is from uh, Bottega Veneta and I bought it in Beverly Hills. They have the uh, store there. And I think this retails for about 1800 to 2500 and this one particularly was about $2,300 plus tax. And it's a dark blue that almost looked black, but um, in the sun, it looks really nice uh, blue uh, color. So today I'm just gonna polish this and I'll show you how. And then uh, also my wife's uh, the, the crocodile straps are a little bit uh, worn out. And uh, this is a Cartier um, watch, 18 karat gold. And I think this one retails about $15,000. So that's that. It's a real nice one. Hands are uh, dark blue also super nice quality so I was doing some research and uh, they said I can't use regular leather uh, polish products on a crocodile uh, leather so this is what I bought from Amazon I think this was about $15 to $25 I, I forget what it was but it's a sapphire reptin for uh, like snake skin um, alligator, crocodile, you know, different exotic sapphire mirror gloss. This was about $25 to $30. So at first I only bought this, but then later on I, I added this collection. So the, the finish is a lot better. So then I'm gonna work on this first. When you buy this, you open it up. It comes with a uh, microfiber towel, a little cloth, and this is wrapped in. So then once you open it up, it is like gooey lotion. Okay, it's, it's not hard, it's not a, a wax type. So first, you get a clean side, wrap it around. Other people might do it a different way, but this is how I do it. And I'm just showing you one method, and I'm sure there's plenty of different methods. So you just apply it liberally. So you're just uh, basically applying a lot. So you're not polishing it right now, you're just conditioning it and cleaning it. So once you think you have some enough, so there's just, let's just put some more on the worn parts. Or I'm sorry, worn side. Okay, let's go to the other side. Okay, I'm just rubbing it lightly. Okay, so that's that. So it's on there, another side. I'm just gonna dry this like that for five minutes. So it's a uh, masking tape, so it's not gonna damage anything. And they said replacement of this for glossy uh, alligator strap is about $800. So if I mess it up, I'm, I'm done. So and just like that. It's been about five minutes, so what I'm gonna do is yeah. just grab it, um, grab a microfiber towel, and just rub it. You do two finger technique, and just rub it a little bit hard, and you can see the shine coming through. Okay, so. really shiny at this point even this part it just lost some color due to wear and tear but it is shiny look at that gloss okay but this is half done you know mm -hmm. using this it gets a little bit glossier so um, I suggest you guys shouldn't 
You guys invest the money. So this one, it'll take one more try, or maybe it'll just that will eliminate everything. But it's not shiny as the wallet. Now, when you open this up, this is a mirror gloss. It's a hard paste, like a shoe polish. So, yeah, it's hard. So what you have to do is you have to grab a water and just put a little bit. You need a little bit of water. Okay, so just leave it somewhere. And... Uh, what you have to do, dip a little bit of water, so it's just a little bit wet, and then now just rub it to get that wax into here. See the wax right here? Okay, so you have enough. So then, uh, now you're just rubbing it again. And let's get more. And I'm sure you're, if you're watching this video, that means you have an alligator product and you know alligator products are more expensive than leather products so i know that you guys can afford those those two okay i know you can you can afford sapphire mirror gloss which is about 25 dollars 30 dollars and sapphire reptin which is like 20 dollars okay two finger technique on a clean side it has to be dry now i apply this side first Look at the, uh, it's blurred. Okay, so now small circles, right? Look at the shine cut between. You just have to rub it harder so this side is not done and this side is done okay can you see the difference okay so I'm doing to this side other side still this side is worn out but it's not too bad, just wear and tear. And what's that? That's all I carry. And now, washing this. I'm just making small circles. It is polished, but the strap is not good as the, the wallet so it is polished but not here and you know for the watch strap it's okay I mean yeah maybe some people might do it better than me this is not bad okay so this is a success it's super shiny now uh, thank you for viewing my video and hope you guys have wonderful holidays and please like my uh, video and subscribe thank you